Hi friends, let us learn how to create a drop down list. Our data entry will be quicker and more accurate when we use the drop down. So we can create the drop down box by three methods. One is by comma or delimited list. Second is cell range and lastly by the named range. So let us check out by all the three methods how to create the drop down box. For this, let us go to the Excel sheet. In the Excel sheet, you can see here, if uh, say that I am planning to go for a trip and I have asked my friends to give their decision. Some would say yes, some would say no, some would say like, okay, I will come but give me some time or maybe or say some other reason. So if I want to write this, say yes, no, every time it will be difficult for me. So here the drop down list box will be quite useful. For this, select the cells, whichever you want to have a drop down. Okay. After selecting, just go to the data, click on data validation and under settings, you have a validation criteria as allow. So allow it as a list. Okay. Now here I will be giving them the three options. One is the yes, one is the no, and maybe if they are taking a decision afterwards, I will say it as maybe. Okay. So I'm clicking it as okay. You can see here, I have a list of drop down box here. So I user can select it very easily, whatever he has a decision. So this is quite useful. You can see that I have used comma as a delimiter. You can see here comma as a delimiter. It can be used only if, have, if we have only few values. So for example, I had just only three values. It was not tedious for me. I have done it. If you think you have more list box or more values, then it will be difficult for us. And this can be used only if your values are not likely to be changed. And also you can see here, these are case sensitive. For example, if I wrote everything in a small letter, by default, it will give me an error because here in my case, I have Y as a capital. So these are some of the disadvantages when we use this. To overcome these issues, we can use the cell range. In cell range, we can have the data in the separate place. We can keep it in a separate sheet or in a separate column. I am keeping it in a separate column. So if I want this to be in our uh, drop down disk, so we already have this one. So I will override this one. I will select these shells and go for data and data validation. And I will select the list and here I will delete this and select the range. This is my cell range and click enter here and click OK. So here we can see we have the yes, no, maybe change data or the change location. So even we can keep it in a other column or even I can keep this in a separate sheet. For protection of data and flexibility, it's better to keep the drop down list in a separate sheet. So let us keep it in sheet one. Okay. I have kept it in sheet one. So select the list box, go for data validation and here just select from the sheet. Okay. See it has taken from sheet one and click OK. So here we can see we have the data. Now I can, if I want, say change members. Say that one person is not coming if another, uh, if he has one of his enemy in the trip. So I can see here, you can see here change members. Okay. So this is how we have a flexibility in selection the 
list box from the other column. Say I have maybe deciding tomorrow. So here we have deciding tomorrow. So this is how we can use the drop down from the through the cell range we can keep in a separate column or for flexibility we can keep it in a separate sheet also now you can see that we have selected from the this range okay and it is showing five rows into one column so it is always difficult to see here in the name box it is always difficult to remember the range so for this we can also select the drop down box with the name range okay so let us check how to do this now see this is the range i want to select now go to the name box and say that this is my decision box okay just enter so if you select this range it will show it as a name of the box as decision okay so now go here select the range go for the data validation delete the whichever you have selected now press f3 okay you have to press f3 where you can get the name here see we have got the decision name which we have kept in the name box now click ok okay now whatever the data we have that cell will be selected here now even if i increase one of the box say now you can see here it will be added okay so this is how we have can create the drop down box so in this video we have learned to create the drop down box by the three methods one is by the delimiter correct so first one we saw it with the delimiter that is comma second one is by the cell range okay and third one was by the name range so these are the different methods or different methods to create the drop down box